Hello everyone, welcome to day 9 the February Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is K different pairs in this array and in this question we are given an array of integers and an integer K. We need to identify all those unique pairs where the difference between the two elements happens to be equal to K. Uh, and this is what it, they have represented it by a mathematical formula. Modulus of nums of i minus nums of j happens to be equal to k, where the pair contains two elements, nums of i and nums of j. Let's walk through a couple of examples so that we get a good hold of the concept. In the first case, we are given nums as 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and the value of k happens to be 2. Let's walk through how the output will be generated for this particular case. There are two possibilities. The first one is 1, 3. The difference between 3 minus 1 happens to be 2 that contributes to the first pair. The second one is equal to 3 comma 5 that contributes to the second pair because the difference between these two elements happens to be 2 again. Also although we have two ones in the input we should only return the number of unique pairs. The question in the question in the input array we have two ones but we don't we are not interested in the frequency of such pairs rather we are only interested in identifying the unique pairs as a result of which the output turns out to be equal to 2 this is a very important point and please keep a note of it the third example that i want to explain is this one where the nums are equal to 13154 the value of k happens to be equal to 0 and this is a special case that we need to take care of the output corresponding to this will be equal to 1 and the pair will correspond to 1 comma 1. So here you can see that uh, we have two ones as a result of which we were able to form one pair out of it. From this example we can say that the frequency does matter. I will talk more about it by the presentation and we will conclude the approach there. So let's quickly move on to the PPT. K diff pairs in an array, lead code 532. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So let's get started. From the look and feel of it, uh, it looks like a set question. You add elements onto, this, onto the set. So you create a set and you add elements onto it. 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Because uh, as per the first example, the repetition of 1 is not contributing to anything. And in, in case the value of k happens to be equal to 2, you can simply iterate through each element. So let's assume you, you got 3 first and then you add 2 to it and you check whether 5 is present in the set or not. It is present. That contributes to one possible pair. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see 1. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. 3 happens to be part of the set as a result of which it will contribute to another answer. So 1 comma 3 also contributes to the answer and as a result of which the count gets incremented to 2. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 4 and uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is not part of the answer. Uh, let's skip it. Next we see is 5. 5 plus 2 happens to be 7. 7 is not part of the set. Let's skip it. Finally we can say that the answer value has been updated to 2 which is absolutely correct. We were able to identify two unique pairs. First one was 1 comma 3, other one was 3 comma 5. I hope you got the context and we use the set based approach to solve this. However, for the case where k happens to be equal to 0, the set based approach will not work. Why? Let's walk through this example. We are aware of that the output for this particular array would be equal to 1. And what is the pair value? The pair value is 1 comma 1. Because you must have two elements so that the difference between both these two elements happen to be zero and that then only it will satisfy the condition as a result of which the set approach will not generically work for all the cases so where we should migrate to we should migrate to map and in the map the key would be the element itself and the value would be the frequency so what you are going to do you are going to simply create the map and fill in all the elements that are present in your input array and build this frequency map. So let's do that. We have 1 comma 2 because 1 occurs in the input array twice. 3 occurs only once. Next we have 5 comma 1. Next we have 4 comma 1. And let's take two cases. The first one is where k happens to be equal to 2. 
and in the second case let's take the case where k happens to be equal to 0 and we'll use this map to find out the solution so we know that the value of k is 2 so let's get started what we are going to do let's iterate through all the elements of the map the first element happens to be 1 and what we'll do we'll add the element plus k what is the updated value the updated value is 3 1 plus 2 happens to be 3 we check whether 3 is part of the map or not if it is then what we will do we'll increment the answer result 3 is part of the answer uh, part of the map as a result of which the count gets updated to 1 because we found one pair let's proceed ahead next we see is 3 so 3 plus k happens to be 5 5 happens to be part of the map as a result of which the count will get incremented so the count gets incremented from 1 to 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 4 4 plus 2 happens to be 6 6 is not part of the map we'll skip it next we see is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 7 is not part of the map we'll skip it what is the value of count in the end the value of count happens to be 2 which is as expected so we are good for the cases where we have the value of k greater than 0 let's talk about the case where the value of k happens to be 0 so what we will do we will extract the frequency of each element that is present in my map and if the frequency is happen happens to be greater than or equal to 2 then that will contribute to one such pair so let's iterate through it the first case we see that the frequency of 1 happens to be 2 since it's equal to 2 we found one possible solution which is nothing but 1 comma 1 and it will contribute to the answer and we'll increment the count value to 1 any value greater than or equal to 2 will contribute to one unique solution. Remember this. Next we see is 3. What is the frequency? The frequency happens to be 1. We'll skip it. Next we see is 4. Frequency of 4 happens to be 1. We'll skip it. Next we see is 5. Frequency of 5 happens to be 1. We'll skip it. What is the answer left? The answer left is 1, which is as expected. So using maps, we were able to find out the solutions for both possibilities, k equal to 0 and k greater than 0. To conclude finally, let's walk through the coding section. Here I have written few corner cases. If nums happens to be null, length is equal to 0 or k happens to be less than 0, I simply abort the process and return null. Otherwise, then go and create the frequency map, which is pretty simple and straightforward. We have been doing this for plenty of cases in the past. Along with this, I created a count variable. Next, we go ahead and iterate through all the entries that are present in my map. If k happens to be 0, then what do I need to check? I need to extract the frequency in case it happens to be greater than or equal to 2 that will contribute to one possibility of unique pair. Otherwise, we will skip it. Greater than or equal to is very important here. In case my value of k happens to be greater than 0, which would be the case if it's not equal to 0, then what do I do? I check whether entry dot get key plus k happens to be part of the map. If it does, then I'll increment my count variable in the end we simply return the count variable and let's do that the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity of this approach is again order of n this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye